Hi, welcome to Outdoor Gear Repair. Today we're going to show you how to fix one of these. A broken tent pole. Now this has one of those common braces that they give you with your tent repair kit in case the pole breaks. What it is, is just an aluminum tube that goes over the broken piece to keep it in place temporarily, kind of like a, a spare tire for a car, I guess you might say. It's a relatively easy fix and we are going to show you how to do this in less than five minutes. All right, here we go. What you'll really need for this job is nothing. If you want to use the vice grips, you can see where it might come in handy, but you really don't need one. The first thing we want to do is get this old pole segment out of the way. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow it down to the end of the pole where you have the cap. I'm going to unscrew the cap, pull that out. Normally these have a little groove cut out in a loop so you can pull these off like that. Some of them it's just there's no way and you just have to untie it, but this one does. You can either cut this if you have enough extra shock cord inside of there, or you can unloop it. I think I'm going to unloop this one. Okay. Got it. Then I'm going to actually, usually I don't like to do this, but I'm actually just gonna let that just slide right through and take these extra pull segments off. The rope actually shot back through and released the rest of these pull segments and it, it went back to the hub. If you notice, you can see how the string is connected straight through the hub here. It goes from one side to the other. So I knew it wasn't going to shoot all the way through and it would still have some slack left over. So I let it through. Now that we've got that old pull segment off, let's take a look at it here. This is what it looks like. And let's take it apart. There's the brake. There's the other brake. And here was the sleeve, the temporary fix. In preparation for this repair, I contacted MSR and let them know that I needed to purchase a, a new pole segment. This tent is a little bit older. This is a 2011 slash 12 model of Hubba Hubba. And so I was kind of concerned do they even have poles left over. And they must have some kind of a warehouse with a big box of like anodized poles or something because they contacted me back and they actually sent a diagram showing the full tent configuration with the poles and asked which pole segment do you need and uh, I told them which pole segment was the broken pole segment and they said they would send it to me free of charge now I never contact a company and demand things because I always feel like if I was the person that was working at the company and somebody was demanding something it might put me off a little bit so I offered to purchase the pole segment if it was available and luckily for me, they said, well, we'll just send one out to you free of charge, which was really nice. And there it is, came in the mail. Now that I've removed the old pole segment, take the new one, run the shock cord through it until it comes out the other end, goes. Because this shock cord is obviously too short, to just keep running through it should be I mean it needs to be able to have some pull drawback I'm gonna really pull it through and squeeze it on this end with my fingers to make sure it doesn't pop back then I'm going to grab the next pull segment and I'm going to start feeding it through this one until it comes out the other end which it is right here I'm gonna grab a hold of that tightly and I'm gonna pull that one through too now I'm on to my last pull segment I'm gonna get out a little bit extra here because I need it long enough to go through that last pull segment, which is kind of hard to do, wow. Okay, now I can pull out some extra slack here. And I've got a long piece here. Here's the final pull segment. I'm going to start feeding it through. And this is where vice grips might come in handy, like you could just clamp it right here so it doesn't have a chance to pop back. Um, I'm just showing you how to do it even if you don't have tools because sometimes people might not have a vice grips laying around. I feed that through the last pull segment. And there we go, that was the final, that was the final pull segment right there. I got a hold of it. Now all I have to do is tie a knot here. I just use a simple, you, I mean you can do any kind of knot that you want as long as it's, it's a knot that stays. So I'm just gonna do a little simple scout knot that I'm used to here. Draw that one a little bit tight. Okay. 
get that started like that through the hole. And then remember this little piece right here. I'm going to just clip that on like that and let that go back through here and then twist that. And voila, brand new pull segment starting from here, ending there with the shock cord still intact. And there you have it, a replaced pull segment. So you don't have to walk around or camp out in the woods with one of these anymore. That's embarrassing. All right, guys, take care. I hope that helps and I'll see you on the trail. If I don't see you on the trail, maybe I'll see you in the comments section. 